Hello everyone, I'm back to play more of the next big thing. And let me look around. There's no blood or anything here. Must be from some movie. Obviously. It's wood burning. Okay. I could open it, throw on some logs, take out the ashes. Uh, I don't think so. I have one at home just like it. I always sleep on it, except when I have, uh, <laughs> company. Five second rest period and I'm back on the court. We can take a rest. Uh, this sports business is really tiring. Why, I've carried bundles like those, and even bigger ones, but... Before I delivered papers, I was as boring as a Sunday without a football game. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut him off. with the public turned yours truly into the charismatic, irresistible guy that we all know and love. It's Saturday night, well... It's Sunday afternoon here. It's 1.34 p.m. Now it's the future look. I mean, it's a bright day. It's good weather. It's all right. I'm tired. <laughs> no, I, I slept. I feel like I want to sleep more, too. Yeah, I just had lunch. It was good. Yeah, so rabbits? Okay, so it's Sunday already for rabbits, so that's good. I mean, yeah, it's cozy I night for you guys. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. I don't carry these things anymore. Can I not look at anything here or get any clues here? Also, why did my partner suddenly like disappear? Also, it's it's not like anything happened to her, right? She just I don't know, decided to run off. It's so weird. But there's nothing here. An eight pack. Half my salary they belong to Octopus Herring. Psychedelic. Hey, got that. What am I going to do? Erase it with my tongue? I'll pass. MKO <laughs> pansies. Half huh. an hour to it Sunday, like okay. He has some enemies. So we got some time to go. I'm only a couple of hours ahead, anyways. It's not that far into the future. But what the hell? Who's that? Has the slowest hangovers in all of Mexico. Let him sleep. Okay. We'll let him sleep then. Oh, it's Robo Pain's workshop. What's this? One of the Chupacabra's claws. And I thought they were natural. Oh. Nothing. That's not the way to get out. I want the claw. <sighs> Nothing. That's not the way to get out. Okay, he missed uh, voicing one of the words. It's like, not a way it gets out. Can I go into They're the mansion? They're cleaning up after the party. Or something like that. And the robots aren't letting anyone in. Plus, Willie might be in there, and he'd invite me to stay for lunch or something, and that would bog me down. Okay. Hey, 
Every time I turn around, he dies on me. Hey, oh, Tabby. Had a boy, had a boy. No, I didn't bring you any caviar today, you glutton. Aya, go lay down. I haven't seen him since he was Tabby the second. Could he have a genetic memory? Is the pet a robot too? I think. It looks like a plant though. Spray cam. My pal. It was in the trunk. I always carry it in the car. It doesn't matter in which car. You're very weird. Why is this? I wish. Okay, he doesn't have his pass. So that's why. I'm out of here. To hell with the tickets. And where am I going? Mm. I didn't even mean to just leave. Can I? Oh. Well, Sorry. I, <laughs> what a I didn't keep clicking and skipping the dialogue. Okay. Can I use the bat or something to use the on a claw. No? Bat. Why not? I know that this makes no sense, but this is my chance to use a bat. Sorry, I'm eating a bit of food. Give me a moment. It's really delicious food. If that melancholy robot gets out, I'm going to get mad. This guy is the worst. How is he the worst? Oh, if I really gave it my all, I could, but behind it has the mother of all knots. Sorry. I got more food. <laughs> got more food. And my mom was eating it. So, yeah. Hmm. Can I use the car on the rope? 
I don't know what I wanted for, but when you come from a neighborhood like mine, that's never the right question to ask. What's this ship? Is that my friend's ship or just a normal ship? Closed. Hey! You in there! Ayo! Ah, uh, and who wants to get in? Pirate flicks. Can't stand them. Period. Apparently he doesn't like pirate movies. Okay. No ferry service today. That's the one that goes to the studios. Okay, so we can't go to the studio. Okay. Back to the mansion. Is there something I could look at here? I could open it, throw on some logs, take out the ashes. Uh, I don't think so. Must be from some movie. Okay. Because he was wearing a typical explorer's jacket, Dan picked up a whip from the floor. And wait, it wasn't exactly a whip, actually. But it was on the floor. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, it was a bell. Doesn't this belong to that lunatic? Uh, not that I pay attention to what she wears. Let's hope I don't find more of her clothes lying around here. What's it to me? Okay. So we found a belt, and then what? As everyone knows, some animals have to be tied up well with chains to keep them from escaping. The problem was, Dan had neither an animal nor a chain. Okay. Toby. Dobby! Hey, oh, buddy. I've got a job for you. It's a really cute pet, and yeah, he goes off down here. Attaboy, Toby. Attaboy. Hey, Wacko, you need a man's hand? Yeah. If she's in there, it's up to me to get her out. Okay. I got a rope. Mm. Will this hold if I tie it? It's a plant. It's a plant animal. That acts like a dog. Very unique. Yes. It'll save us time. 
Now let's get out of here, or if you try it, you can consider yourselves toast. Your two-bit invisibility tricks won't work with me, material man. You and the lovely Miss Alaire shall be escorted to your new quarters by my assistance. I can escort myself! Chloroform. I know who you are. Do you think you're better than a refer... Sure. Now that he knew what had happened to Liz, Dan would only be able to find her by going after Big Albert. The sarcophagus, said Edgar. They took it to the Temple of Eternal Illusion. Now we're really in trouble, replied Dan. The Temple of Eternal Illusion. Headquarters of the famous sorceress known as High Priestess Chrome Ha. It was completely impenetrable. Whoever entered was observed and analyzed by a scanner which detected any sign of cerebral activity. And once inside, it was filled with deadly traps out of which no one had ever escaped. Of course. The game was becoming increasingly difficult, but Dan had come too far. Plus, his feelings for Liz were becoming more intense all the time. Wait, he has feelings for Liz? Thanks to her, I'm going to be on the ropes again. If she's lost those tickets, How do I not know he has feelings for Liz? The lunatic thinks it's mine. I wish. And where am I going? Uh, to the Temple of Illusion. That place is impregnable. I have to find another way of getting in. Okay. And where That's am I supposed to go? I, I imagine he means impenetrable. Maybe. Well, when Dan found Professor Fly... Wait a minute. I've said that Fly was on a boat, right? And you get on a ship. Oh, damn it. Okay. Here we go. At last, they opened it. Uh, I'll help you construct it, Put together any weapon. Scientifically impossible. I'm going to die anyway. Morally reprehensible. <laughs> but what about poetry? Beauty, purity, and artistry. Economically inviolable. Well, well, I'll get into one of these. I won't discuss it. You won't fit, poet. You won't fit. You won't fit. You won't fit. Whoa, take it easy, Gargantua. <laughs> There's one big dude. <laughs> hey oh, Dan Murray! Guilty as charged. And you have pint. <laughs> what a guy! Professor Fly at your s -s 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 service! Yeah, if it's in real life, I probably hate this guy. I hate flies. I hate insects. Me to build him a custom made teletransporter booth. Tell a what? Oh, a neophyte. Let me show you. Two booths. The fool hardy volunteer gets into one of them. <laughs> yes. And instantly appears in the other. <laughs> Does the duck get frequent flyer miles? Interesting. Dan understood the great potential in that magnificent invention oh. for furthering his plans. You can send it to... it to Professor Fly. Not bad. Have you got a volunteer half pint? Apart from the rubber ducky. Oh, I wish the poet wanted to, but I won't even discuss it. Well, now you have one. Let's get on with it. <laughs> 
Oh, that would be morally reprehensible. The teletransporter is still in the Zeta stage. It's randomly lethal, lethally random, especially for the liver. It is for that reason that I only accept volunteers that meet three requirements. What are they then? One, said Fly, they have to be completely expendable to society. Two, their life expectancy must be less than one year, two months, nine days, and 37 minutes. Three, they must pass my psychological test for the purpose of accrediting psychic devastation to the utmost degree. What? My life expectancy is almost nil. Are you sure? That's experimentally demonstrable, demonstrably experimental. Do you s see that machine in the corner? Better than you. I don't have bug eyes. <laughs> what a guy. But it's true. I can't see all that well because I lost my glasses yesterday. So the machine is called a life-o-meter. It uses the breath to determine the subject's total remaining life expectancy down to the minute. How much time until he kicks the bucket, right? Definitively positive. Positively definitive. What do I have to do for you to consider me socially expensive? What a guy, yeah, what a guy. I won't discuss it. You work at the Quill. You're a sports is a journalism genius. What do you have to say about the poet? Is he stupid or just pretending to be? Well, the poet of pain is peculiar. Peculiar. Yes, peculiar. Peculiar in what way? In a peculiar way. Between somewhat and very peculiar. Okay, yeah, he's not going to ex explain it more than that. What they call peculiar. Why can't he be your volunteer? Unfortunately, that's scientifically impossible, since my teletransporter booth won't accommodate him. Economically inviable, the cost of building a booth his size would be as astronomical. And morally reprehensible, as we are talking about one of the greatest literary figures of our time. That's his name? Poet? The Poet of Pain. He's already published three volumes of poetry, all with the same theme. I didn't expect him to be a poet. Unfortunately, he's beginning to repeat himself. Has he always gone in for verse? Hmm? He uses to be a stunt double in the movies. He has a very high tolerance to pain, so he would do anything. He uses to specialize in the most physically punishing stunts. The best part is that afterwards, he would tell his colleagues all about the pain he'd experienced. He did it so poetically that someone said to him, you have got to write this down, man. Why does he want to be your volunteer? My teletransporter booths are in the Zeta stage. They're very dangerous for the volunteer, and the poet sees an enticingly new form of pain in it, and... Hmm... Enticingly new. Poets, enough nonsense. Let's get to the psychic devastation test. What do you want to bet I beat the record? Let's get to work. They're just four little ink blots. What do you see there? Uh. What am I supposed to say? Am I supposed to go for the creative? 
I, I, I'll say one that I feel fits the character the most. How about that? A fire in the freak stadium three years ago. This is not psychic devastation or anything like it. I'm sorry. Back up to this. <laughs> what a guy. Very funny. When the test's over, I'll smash it. Oh, so I don't have the answers yet. Okay. Almost as orderly as my desk at the quill. I don't know what it is. I don't want to know. Okay. None of this interests me. No, for the test, I'll call half pint, and that's it. Okay. Strange. Let's see, how many decades do I have left? Years, five, months, six, days, twelve, hours, nine. Wait, he only have five years? Six months, twelve days, nine hours? Revolting machine. Damn, imagine if you like find it find out. The worst thing is, is that I'd have to have less than two years left to live for Fly to accept me to be his volunteer. So it's like you already have like short time to live, but you need an even shorter time to live. Maybe I need to drink. Of course not. Then, Dan Murray got off the boat and... Oh no, he, he didn't get off. Oh yes, he did. He wasn't going to live there, right? Okay. Listen up. I'm going to be the volunteer for... What? You're burning your own hand? Pain, pain inspires me. A new verse, a fresh new verse. Oh my god, this guy is, is... He's something. An infernal sun scorches my skin. Implacable, two-faced, cruel. Want me to break your face? It's no trouble. No, very trite. It doesn't inspire me. New pains for new verses. Give me novelty. Good. You stay right here. You're going to go nuts over this. Uh, yeah, that's something. Okay, so I need to find... I need to be socially expandable. So I gotta find a way to prove that, that I'm socially expandable. I gotta find a way to have the minimum life expectancy. I don't know how to do that. I gotta pass a psychological test. I need to get answers for that maybe. Help, help, help. As a boy, Dan had been a little hooligan. And so he grabbed, I don't know what, and destroyed, I don't know what. So, I need to destroy stuff. Meaning, maybe I'm gonna... Or what? I could use this to slip in, but if Willie sees me and he feels like talking, I'll be running against the clock. So he really doesn't want to talk to his friend. Okay. That belongs to the Chupacabras. He never plays it in public. 
Well, continue sleeping. And carry on. I'm not late. You're late. The tape recorder fell when Liz was struggling with whoever it was that kidnapped her. Okay. Ah, there's nothing down there to interest me. Of course not. Ayo Kadnavsky. Back, you bloody earthling, or I'll vaporize you with my hypergalactic laser. <laughs> that music. Are you stupid or what? <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. But don't call me by my last name. I'm Edgar to my friends. Fascinating. Anyway, have you found out anything about our mutual friend? Mutual? You're mistaken there, but tell me. Yeah, what a guy. Why are you dressed like an idiot? I'm the new Vulcan Flash. Good for you. And who is this idiot? <laughs> don't, oh, don't pretend. Everyone knows who Vulcan Flash is. I am not everyone. Well, yeah, Dan leaves under a rock, that's why. There, he's called Videges Jimenez. They censored the original name. Because if you substitute an H for the V, a J for the U, an O for the F, an M for the C, and you say it backwards, you get a really bad verb. I don't know what that means. So, who convinced you to dress like an idiot? You'll never guess, our friend Liz. I love the graffiti. <laughs> well, Mr. Fitz Randolph doesn't. That's why my job is to clean it off. Is Willie around? He was at the mansion, but he asked them to get the Zeppelin ready. Maybe he's already there. MKO Pansies, what's that about? A new direction for MKO. Fitz Randolph wants to get out of the horror business and dedicate himself to family films. Okay. Family films don't interest me, but go on. Just that, romantic comedies, children's films, even musicals. Okay. Interesting direction of monster to take him, but okay. I'm still not interested in family films. Go on. The problem is that not all of the monster actors are in favor of the change, and they're trying to boycott it. In part, I understand them. You build a career scaring people, and then they make you play the cookie monster. Half my salary says the graffiti is octopus herring's work. For sure. Do you know that in Amundsen, it's forbidden to put octopi in your socks, punishable by spanking? Fascinating. This is starting to bore me. Let's move on. So, they've taken the sarcophagus away. How long ago did they take it? About a half hour before you got here. I had to call them to come pick it up. I just realized that this guy's actually like, looking at Dan when he's speaking, but Dan's looking off in some other direction. Like, what are you staring at, Dan? Why don't you look at the man speaking to you? Where did they take the sarcophagus? So rude. To the temple of eternal illusion. Yeah, what a guy. And what's this about the temple being impenetrable? It is. No one's ever gotten in, except for Kromha's performances on Tuesdays. The best part is that the people in the audience don't even know how they got in. They're outside waiting in line, and then suddenly, bam! They're inside, comfortably ensconced in their assigned seats. Magic, of course. What day is it today? Saturday. Oh. What is the temple in reality? A temple. Oh, you're really asking for it. <laughs> what a guy. 
It's a pyramid that Kromha had brought from Egypt, block by block. Enough about the temple for the moment. Aya, Alice. Aya, Dan. Okay. Why Ezra is making progress. Okay, so... The hint tells me I need to destroy something with something. This might work for me to get in, but I pass. Oh my god. No idea why they say Ayo and Yeah instead of hello and goodbye. Well, I don't know. As a boy, Dan had been a little hooligan. And so he grabbed I don't know what and destroyed I don't know what. Something that his boss had given him, right? Oh, he's destroying something his boss has given him. Okay, so I need to go to my work area and destroy something my boss has. And where am I going? Empty handed? No. The boss is already at the boiling point. No, things always turn out bad with Swedish girls. They shut it down this week. Let's see if he pays up soon and we can party there again. That's the ticket. Oh, what? What am I supposed to do? I was lucky that Robo Creep didn't come out last time. No sense pushing my luck. I don't want to break this. I don't want to break this. I don't want to break this. What do you want to break? I'm so confused. If I break it, this comes out. I pass. I don't plan on leaving that there. I'm so confused. As a boy, Dan had something that his... Something his boss has given him, but what? I can't go to work and destroy whatever my boss owns. I am... I'm a bit stuck. If I try and wake him up, he'll only fake being asleep. He owes me money. He owes me money, but I'm not going to torture him to get it. I don't want to burn this. I need a hit, man. No, poor Eric. Okay. Someone... What am I supposed to do? They're in there cleaning up. Plus, Willie might be in there, and he'd invite me to stay for lunch or something. <sighs> Is this a soul extractor? Why did I call it a soul extractor? Can I use it on him? He has no soul to steal. He has no soul to steal? Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. If he's got a soul, I don't want it. Okay. I'm confused. I 
Okay, after a long list of your shower, I'm back on now. Yeah, that is a long shower. And I'm stuck. It's only 2.13 p.m. already yawning. <laughs> Seriously. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. My hit tells me to As a boy, destroy Dad what, a but I don't know again. what. And so he grabbed, I don't know what, and destroyed, I don't know what. Something that his boss had given him, right? So I've got the bat. I know I need to use the bat to destroy something, but I have no idea what to destroy it with. I'm taking the time to make nice meals for myself, for my luxuries in the life. So I enjoy them. Yeah, make some food. I had a lot of food. I'm pretty full. And I don't know what to do at this point. Even the help is not helping me. I need to use this to destroy. I don't want to break this. I don't want to break this. I don't want to break this. I don't know. Something the boss has given him, but I don't know. I don't have what the boss has given me. Why, as but it's strange. When I look at him, he doesn't make any progress. Only when I leave. <laughs> Another guy that I intimidate. Maybe I can go back to car and take a look. I can't take a look at my trunk, damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so confused. And where am I going? That's the ticket. Rabbit, if you're still here, give me a hint. Let me know what to do. Maybe I can save first. Let me save. Can I? Oh, I can't resave on the same one. It's okay. Oh, and it tracks you when you use the help thing. Okay. I am stuck. There we go. <laughs> oh, so tired. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What am I supposed to do? I can't destroy the robots. I thought I wanted to destroy the robots, but but then the dude's like, no way. I could use this to slip in, but if Willie sees me and he feels like talking, I'll be running against the clock. Can I, uh, I don't know, do you want me to beat you up? Can I beat you up? I've got something that might inspire you. Oh. Novelty, novelty, give me novelty. A bat, I'm going to break your face and... I never repeat myself, I never repeat myself, I never repeat, 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 I repeat. You don't say. You've already had your face bashed in with a bat. Novelty, novelty, give me novelty. Shoot. Damn, I can't, I can't beat him up. Uh, I got a soul extractor. I've got something that might inspire you. Novelty, novelty, give me novelty. Come on, extract your soul. See if that hurts. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, Shrek did a spoof. So, a new verse? Uh, uh, I'm inspired. It's coming to me. It's on the tip of my tongue. What's wrong with this well, dude? Well, share it. Uh, and you think that doesn't hurt? I've lost a molar. What a verse, my friend. What a verse. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Thank okay. you. Okay. Um. I I I don't know what what that I don't know. Uh. Okay. No for the test, I'll call half pint, and that's it. Nice contraption. You shouldn't leave these things all over the floor. Murray, careful walking there. Don't step on my camera. I'm on top of everything. It's flies. How kind of him. I don't want to break this. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Not much to see. I should break this with a baseball bat and then some. But I don't want to get wet. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Can I beat myself up? I still have to pass the test, but after that, it's home run derby. You're headed to bed, good time zone. Yeah, enjoy your bed. I don't know if I'm gonna continue for much longer either. I mean, I'm I'm stuck. I don't know what to do at this point. The hints are not helping me. My editor took it away from me. I don't want to break this. I don't want to break this. I don't want to break this. Uh, I need to destroy something on my boss, but I don't know where and how to do it. I haven't overlooked anything around here. Well, okay, a pirate ship. Am I supposed to have something interesting to say on the subject? Willie's Monster Factory. I don't see why people are so impressed with it. That's the one Willie uses when he has to go to festivals and other movie events. I could use it to fly to the Temple of Eternal Illusion. But the problem isn't the distance, but that once I get there, it'd be impossible to get in by land, sea, or air. Yeah, this is the part I'm stuck at. As a boy, Dan had been a little hooligan. And so he grabbed, I don't know what, and destroyed, I don't know what. Something that his boss had given him, right? Something that his boss has given him. I haven't seen his boss. I'm unable to go actually see his boss. And it's not like I can go anywhere else because the dude doesn't let me. My boss. Oh. If I destroy the boss's wife's car and I let him know it was me, he'll fire me. But then Fly would accept me as a volunteer. And I'd be closer to finding Liz and the story I need to keep from getting fired. Which, at that point, wouldn't do me any good, so... Left jab. I go about my business, invent a story, and keep my job. It wouldn't be the first time. Right jab. I get myself fired, and I start looking for a half-witted, insufferable daddy's girl, and... Los Angeles Stadium, Friday night. Manny Brown, Rico Sandretti. That's his only drive That's in the world. That matters.
Even the robots are terrified. Maybe. I don't know. Whoa. Maybe I went too far. Ugh. Now that is a terrible car thing. When the boss sees this, I'm out of a job. Well, I guess I got that down. Very funny. I'm coming. Everything okay? My talent as a writer has run out of gas. I'm socially expendable now. I'm sorry to be so contemptibly frank, but this is frankly contemptible. If your boss can't get along without you, it's because you've still got a lot to give. I won't discuss it. I'm getting fired. Get back up there. Help. Do I need to call my boss first and let him know? Hey, I destroyed your freaking car. I don't plan on drinking from any of these bottles. I'm suffering from post-party abstinence syndrome. No for the test. Is there a phone? Uh... Get it. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Wait, do I take a photo of the car and send it to my boss? Be like, hey boss, look at your car or your wife's car. I've completely destroyed it. Do I look like a photographer of... Wait a minute. Hey, buddy. Of a job. Murray, 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 Murray! I am definitely out of a job now. My firing squad. Oh, well, I don't know, but I'll check. Bring me a termination letter. So, what do you think? It's uniquely unthinkable. Unthinkable. Yeah. Unique. Dan Murray is socially expendable, said Fly. Yeah, completely socially expendable. So now, how do I reduce my life expectancy and cause myself to die? <laughs> I needed my life expectancy down to two years. We can try to do a test again. Fly. Test time. What? A hellish sun scorches my skin. Implacable. Two-faced. Cruel. Great answer. Come on, you've only got three left. What do you see there? How 
How is that not supposed to hurt? I've lost a molar. Great answer. You st still have that to laugh. Works. What do you see there? Okay, I don't have the answer for this one, I think. A sweet honeycomb. This is... I'm... Okay, I have two of the... Get back up there. You look better I've... up there. I two... I have two of the answers, but I have... I've not gotten the last one. Maybe I need to cause him more pain? Or... Spray something for him? I've got something. Novelty. Spray cans. Herring. Yes, they're his. Do you have a problem with that? Planting. I despise him. I ignore him. I spit on him. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Come on, forget about it. Oh, it takes all kinds. Okay, so he doesn't like Harris. Five o'clock. I've got something that might. Novelty. A razor. You. I never. You're not saying you've already. Novel. Shoot. Okay, no. The last one. How do I get the last one? He owes me money. I'm keeping it. Okay, I don't know. Cheringote. This is a kit for making margaritas. But the salt shaker shaped like a cactus is kind of funny. Okay. Hobby must have dropped this. These pets expire so quickly nowadays. Poor Tobby. Every winter, the same story. Because it's not... I'm not surprised that Chupacabra's in the condition he's in. Can try this. I've got something that might inspire you. Novel to lemon. Oh, my God. What the hell? So, a new verse. Uh, uh, I'm inspired. What in the world is that? It's on the tip of Oh my, my god. Throat. Well, share it. Like a ravenous zombie, my right eye devours my brain. What a verse, my friend. What a verse. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Thank you, friend. Okay. Uh, okay. <sighs> Test time. Everything? Test time. You st What? Do A ravenous zombie, my right eye devouring my brain. Great answer. Let's see how you What? What, what, this one, I missed this one. Boredom. This is, I'm... Back up to the... No for the test. What? Is this something to do with honey that give him? Tabby dropped it. It takes good photos, even in the hands of a boorish robot. 
I didn't know that the chupacabras had fake nails. Poor Liz, kidnapped and having to hold on to her skirt. Psychedelic. The only one that was missing from my collection. I once pinched it from a store window and they caught me. I was five years old. At 12, I bought it with my first paycheck. You got your first paycheck at 12? What do you do? What for work at 12? Okay, I need the... Dan had an idea. He would deceive Fly's life meter But how would he do it? Tabby dies every autumn and is reborn every spring. I've got nothing to lose. Years. Zero. Months. Zero. Days. Nineteen. Hours. Three. I know. Pretty impressive, huh? I'm gonna die soon. 19 days left to live. Poor guy. That's what I call a minimum life expectancy, said Fly. Calm down. As long as I make it to the fight on Friday, everything's fine. <laughs> what a guy. Okay. Do you know why Dan Murray was the best sports reporter in California? Because he wrote his heart out. Or more like his fingernails. I don't want to break this. This one doesn't work with just... Do you know why Dan Murray? Because... No, oh, on the blackboard. He's going to go nuts over this. Oh dear, prepare yourself, guys. Oh, jeez. Okay, not that, not that sharp. So... A new verse? Okay, that's all right. Uh, uh, I'm inspired. It's coming to me. It's on the tip of my tongue. Well, share it. <laughs> my ear. My a thousand bees, mortally wounded, bursts joyfully. Okay, what thank verse, you. My friend. What a verse. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Thank you, friend. Nice! Okay, Professor Fly. Talk to me. Everything okay? Test time. Test time. Let's see how you do on the last one. What do you see there? My eardrum by a thousand bees more Thank you to our good old friend that helped us get through this test. Great answer. And the poet. Congratulations, said Fly. You're so absolutely morally dissipated that you passed the test. Yes, we did. Go overboard. <laughs> I could still fail you. So then, I've got everything right. You've passed the test. Society considers you expendable. In no time at all, you'll be kicking the bucket. Dan Murray, you're the perfect volunteer. Good. Let's get to it, replied Dan. All right. In one and out the other. Works perfectly. Since the booths were working. Dan's next step was clear. He had to send one of them to the residence of the High Priestess, Kromha. Oh, is that what we need to do? So do I talk to the professor about it? Professor? Everything okay? 
This floating laboratory must cost a fortune. Who bankrolls all this? <laughs> Can't you guess? Fitz Randolph. He finances all of my experiments. It's a good thing people like him exist. That's probably true and truly probable. What do you suggest? I can't leave a booth just lying around. The storeroom at the mansion. I have access to it. It'll be safe. Hmm, that's good, but it's heavy. You're speaking to Dan Murray. Relax. <laughs> I'll distract the dynamic Uno. You get in, leave the booth, and get out of there. You got it? Assimilated and comprehended. What are you waiting for? Impossible, Dan. I cannot remove the tattoo on the chupacabras. Well, and this one? It's smaller. No, not small. Not large. Not. Works perfectly. Well, here I am. So now what? Now we gotta... I'm going to have to teletransport myself two more times today. Man shouldn't abuse technology. Fine, I'll walk back there. Oh, he's almost done with the graffiti. Nice. Okay. Talk to Professor Fly. He's not even knee-high to a grasshopper. Except when he's flying. Say that worked. And say it. Send it to Chroma. Okay, no. Get back up there. You look better up there. Is that not it? Although the arts were not among Dan's many and varied interests, when he had the opportunity to paint, he didn't let it go by. But what did he paint? Oh. He needs to paint the machine. Is that it? I've got an idea. I'll paint it like a sarcophagus, but uh, I'll never get it right. It'll never work. Impossible. Just do it. Don't complain. Well, what do you know? From what I understand, if the scanner at the Temple of Eternal Illusion detects cerebral activity, it will search the package. I'll wait to transport myself until the booth is in the Temple of Eternal Illusion. Okay. Talk to this dude. Hey, Space Cadet! Back, Earthling! There's a sarcophagus in the storeroom. No way. I already told you that they took it away before, Earthling. And I say that with those glasses, you can't see a thing. Seriously? Seriously. Not one thing. No. Now, about the sarcophagus. Seriously, you're already calling. Let them come pick it up. Take it easy, be careful. And don't you dare scratch my balls there. Nice. Good. Eleonoro says it will take some time to get the booth to the temple. I'll take advantage of the time and get ready for the next big round. Okay, perfect. We're on the next part. Oh, nice. Why am I so good to you? Let's see if it's all clear, Vermin. I get in the sarcophagus. You close the door. With my foot, I activate the hidden false bottom. You open the door. The audience is stunned. I'm gone. It's completely empty. Understood? Mistress, where do you want the large sarcophagus? What sarcophagus? Mm, but looking like that. Hey, you're gonna be there in three seconds. Give me an Egyptian head honcho's name. Menefis the third. Yep, it's me. Draw and quarter him. 
I am the Supreme Head Honcho of Metaphys 3, Lord of Egypt, quarterback of the Nile, MVP of the... Be still. A Metaphys, the third. The third in the flesh. Really? That's how you... Why have you come? I'm looking for the High Priestess Chrome Ha. The woman with the best front end I've ever seen. You're looking at her. <laughs> oh boy. I'm lost. Ever since I lost the dame that gave my life meaning. Hmm. I guess that woman is me, right? Baby, I'm your midnight camel driver. Your brashness tempts me. Your tongue is altogether too loose, Amenophis. But you're lucky that I'm so good. Oh my god. Me. Really? I that worked? Dan had done it. He had teletransported <laughs> himself oh to dear. the temple of eternal illusion. And if nothing went wrong, he'd live to tell the tale. But if unfortunately, nothing went the wrong. future wasn't looking very bright for everyone involved. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Our partner. Good afternoon, Miss Alaire. Are you hungry? Oh dear. Hey, why did you knock me out? Well, what did you do to me? One, my head and my left ear ache? <laughs> Four, if you come any closer, I will bite you. At least the pain should pass within the hour. The captain would like... Would like you to dine with him. Put this on. No. Today's the first of the month. Do it, or... I never dress in black on dates that are prime numbers. Or you'll die naked with the crew. You've got a point. It's actually more dark gray. Can I untie me? So, how was it for you? It was wonderful, Amenophis. I haven't had a man <laughs> treat me like that in a long well, time. Oh, yeah. No less than what I deserve. Good for you, now. Now you will be my guest. I'll treat you right. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ever. Honey, I'm more of a short-term guy. That's not the impression I got. Uh, a question of practice. Do me a favor, call your robots and tell them to open the sarcophagus in the theater for me. Ah! You just can't be good in this life, can you? Amenophis III, not everything in this house can be had so easily. Forget it. I'll ask the robots myself. And you? They'll never listen to you. Dr. Zelsius programmed them to obey only the person who is wearing the pendant I have on. And which, as you can see, I never take off under any circumstances. Fascinating. So I need to take yes, it off. Dan said, fascinating. But he was really thinking, sooner or later, that pendant will be hanging around my yeah, neck. So because things unique. being what they are. I'm going to need it to teletransport Big Albert to Fly's laboratory. You're mine, Amenophis. Take care of my desires and you'll never want for And she's anything. just standing in that position Otherwise, for like just ask so the long. Oracle of the Shadows. Are you done? Okay, she's done finally. She's dancing. Okay. Uh save. Temple of Eternal. What was the temple's name again? Temple of Eternal what? You know what? Whatever. The Egyptian Temple. That's it. I think that's a perfect place to stop for tonight, don't you think? This game is something. I mean, I like it. It's it's pretty fun. Also, it is a good recommendation from like Rabbit. Uh, it's definitely something that I enjoy playing. But it's bizarre, right? It's not the normal Nancy Drew. Not even Agatha Christie. It's just, there's like monsters and sorcerers and humans, and of course our character has to be human, right? But it's fine. It's fine. I like it, you know. I, I enjoy it. It's much easier to play the Orient Express, that's for sure. But yeah, probably it for today.
probably pretty late for you guys too, so I guess it'd be a perfect time to end here. And uh next week I will uh play more of the next big thing. And hopefully I feel like good enough to be able to play some of like Orient Express because I really should try and finish that game. I really should. I have a couple chapters to go though. That game's so long and motion sickness doesn't help, so I'll try. I'll see. And I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll have a spontaneous stream uh in the evenings uh for during the week. I don't know. I'll see. I'll depends on my mood. No promises though. Because I because I've learned my lesson. Like every time I prom like say, Oh, I'm gonna stream during the weekdays or the evenings and or you know, whatever and I don't I don't I don't do that. So uh, no promises. We'll see my mood. But yeah, this game's pretty fun. So who knows, right? I, I I really like the game. Pandola Studios, you guys make a good game. I like this one, you know. And I have all, all your other games, like, like a lot of your other games, actually. So, yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. You know, thank you everyone who dropped by, everyone who's here. Uh, I I missed some messages while I was playing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will. You know, but I appreciate all of you being here. You know, Mr. Back Gaming, Rabbit, uh, Morticia, Matt, uh, Cinnamon Kitty, uh, anyone else who's I f I forgot to mention, or anyone who's like uh, like Hooker, just remember Hooker, uh, and anyone else who is like lurking, or you know, anyone dropped by, you know, anyone who's watching later, you know, on YouTube or something, right? I appreciate all of you. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Okay? Bye.